type of confidence is there when John Carlos Stanton steps to the plate in that situation, considering how he's been swinging the bat? Yeah, a, a lot. Um, he is in a great spot, having good at bats. Obviously, the home run tonight and then smokes the game winner right there. Was on a pitch earlier in the game that he just missed that he popped up to kind of shallow left. I thought he got off a great swing, got what he was looking for. It's just, you know, he's he's locked in and focused and carrying out his plan really well right now. And, um, you know, that was a, a huge hit against, against Tate, who is a really tough righty-righty guy. You know, that's why he's bringing him in there to face those righties in those spots. It's, it's a tough matchup, and, and he put a really good swing on it. Earlier in that inning with Clay Holmes on the mound, he got himself into quite a situation, runners on first and third, nobody out. Just what did you think of the way he was able to bear down and, and keep the score even? It was huge because Santander there was a tough matchup for him from the you know his better sides, the left side, and um, he's able to get him out. That was huge. To get the pop up there, um, you know, uh, and then, you know, he then he really went to work on those next two guys and was was uh, was rock solid. But uh, a huge, huge performance by him to to wiggle out there. Just how much of an asset is it to have a guy like Tyler Wade on the bench and a very fun in situations like you had there in that 10th inning? I mean, huge. I mean, that's such a good, <clears throat> you know, it's a good send um, because – you know, he's charging out there and right. Santander, it's right to him. He gets into shallow right. He gets in great position to throw, and Tyler is absolutely flying. It looked like he had a perfect route around third base, and he needed every bit of his speed to, to beat that throw. But, um, yeah, it was, it was, you know, his speed is one thing, but it was really good base running, great jump, great route, and he needed all of it. Go next to Brian Hoke. Aaron, you guys have played in a ton of tight games this year, and you've won a lot of them. What, uh, what is the effect that has on a team, especially as you're looking to get to the postseason? Well, the one thing I would say, Brian, is, is we're comfortable in those spots. I, I, I do feel that way. Like, no matter how tight the situation, how close the game is, w win or lose, um, I know our guys – you know, aren't going to melt, aren't going to, aren't going to be phased by anything. So, um, that's comforting. Um, that said, you know, we'd like to pull away a little bit every now and then. So, but, but it is nice that in these close games, um, you know, our guys seem to play their best. Go next to Ian O'Connor. Aaron, how great of an asset is it to have the ability to move Aaron Judge over to center field to clear room for Stanton? And what does it say about a six foot seven, two hundred eighty two pound athlete that he could play center field without really any problem? Yeah, first, first he is a great athlete, so he can do it. It's, you know, in a lot of ways, it's going home for him where he's played most of his life. Um, you know, I, I think second, it's the kind of teammate he is. It's whatever you need. Um, and 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 he loves going over there. He loves doing it. And obviously, you know, especially you know tonight we're facing a lefty. You know, to be able to get, you know, John Carlo and Luke's bat in there, um, that's really valuable. So um, it's been great, and and he's done a great job out there. That's that's the other thing. You know, he's he's moved over there and played a really good center field for us. Go next to Max Goodman. Aaron, you've had. Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton for your entire time as the manager here. They've both respectively had really good stretches, but is this the best you've seen with both of them producing and healthy at the same time? I mean, I mean I'm just going to say I love where they're at right now. You know, we're <laughs> obviously playing really meaningful games right now, and, you know, those, those two guys in a lot of ways are driving us right now, and uh, it's great to see them healthy. It's great to see them playing well um, because I know – just the who they are how hard they work at this and how much it matters to them and and to see them getting the kind of results in the middle together is nice